Hey guys, today I have a monthly favourites video for you. It's been a hot minute since I've done one of these. I've got some makeup products as well as some lifestyle favourites. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a thumbs up while you're watching and let's just get into it. First up is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Now I picked this up because it was just raved about over on TikTok, which if you aren't following me, make sure you come and follow me because I've been posting a lot over there. Now this primer lived up to the hype. It is so good. What I love about it is that it's a very lightweight primer. So it fills in your pores as well as leaving the skin hydrated. I find that a lot of pore filling primers can feel quite heavy on the skin and have that very silicon feel. This formula is a whipped formula and it just feels beautiful, as I said, lightweight and just really comfortable on the skin. For reference, I do have combo skin, so I can tend to get a little oily throughout the T-zone and I also get quite dry around any breakouts. This primer just does a beautiful job at smoothing everything over while still giving me that hydrated look and that's why I love it. Next is the NARS Sunkissed Bronzing Cream in the shade Laguna and I picked this one up from Mecca. It is limited edition, so keep that in mind if you want to pick it up. I picked this up after hearing great recommendations on Instagram and oh my god, it is just beautiful. So it does only come in the two shades, which is annoying, but look, Laguna, although it does look quite deep in the pan, it actually works well for my skin tone. So I'm wearing it today. So what I love about this is the way that it blends. I feel like cream products still have that kind of like too scary to work with kind of vibe about them but this just blows all that out the window it's very pigmented so I only like to take a little bit on the brush and then tap it off into the lid but once you start stippling it onto your skin it just blends in so easily and quickly there's no streakiness or patchiness it doesn't lift up the makeup underneath it is just an absolutely beautiful formula it's not a matte finish it gives more of that satin matte so it's going to last all day but you still get a bit of a sheen from it Another cream product I have been loving is the Mecca Cosmetica Hydra Cheek Tint and Illuminating Balm Duo. And this is in the shade Weekend Skin Blossom. So one side comes with a blush and the other side comes with a highlighter. Now this formula is like no other. This is a balm, so it just leaves that extra special glowy finish. It's not like a shimmery finish. It's a really beautiful glass skin, hydrated, dewy look. It's very natural and it is just so beautiful. Again, I'm wearing it today and I feel as though my cheeks just look so beautiful and glowy. Look at that. Oh, I love it. This does come in a few different shade options, which is really nice. I love this bright pink. It looks quite bold in the pot here, but it blends out very beautifully. It's actually quite sheer. I recently did a video ranking all my cream blushes. So if you're interested in that, I will link it down below for you to go and watch. I have just been reaching for that one so much lately. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but I think it's definitely worth it because I don't have any other drugstore blush that has that same kind of balm finish. Next, I have the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Now, I've spoken about this plenty of times on my channel, but I finally picked up a deeper shade. So this is L400 Classic Ivory, and this is a much better shade match for me. I originally picked up the lighter shade in the range because that's just what I do, being so fair, but they are super, super fair, and it just leaves too much of a brightening effect. And I also find when a concealer is too fair for me, I don't get the coverage that I'm after. So this shade here is L100, the shade I originally picked up, and this is L400. As you can see, there's quite a big difference in those shades, and I just prefer L400 as it blends into my skin tone easier. It's giving me that more natural look that I'm after rather than the really bright under eye. And the reason that this is in my favorites is because of the formula. It has a high coverage and a beautiful hydrating finish. If you've been around my channel, you would know I love the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, but if you find that one to be a bit too matte or dry for under your eyes, then I think that this would be a better option for you. Next, I have a lipstick, and this is by the brand W7, which is available from Chemist Warehouse, and they have extremely affordable makeup. Now, it is a really big range, lots of hits and misses amongst it, 
but this lipstick is definitely a hit. It's called the Velvet Luxe and it's in the shade What's Nude. It's what I've got on my lips today and is it not just the perfect nude color? Like, what the hell? It is like my go-to nude shade. And the formula of this lipstick is just beautiful. It dries down to, I'd say, a satin matte, so it's not giving you a very glossy finish, but as you can see, it's not extremely matte either. It's nice and opaque. It deposits a great amount of color. It's very smooth on the lips. It is just an absolute winner, and I'm pretty sure it was less than $5. And then my last favorite for the makeup category is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Multitasking Spray. Now, if you want a dupe to the MAC Fix Plus, this is your answer. First of all, I love this packaging. Like, it's just nice, you know? Also, the NYX Marshmallow Primer packaging is beautiful. So this does claim to prime your skin for makeup, set it in place, but I would say it's to be used like MAC Fix Plus. So for spraying on your makeup to settle in all your powders, just giving you a more refreshed look and a refreshed feel. It's great to spray into soap if you're doing soap brows or if you want to really intensify your shimmer shadows. You can spray a little bit of this on the brush. It's got a really nice mister on it too and you're getting a nice big bottle of 130 mils. So if you're like me and it kind of hurts you a bit to buy the MAC Fix Plus, <laughs> just the price and like what it is, it's like, ah, this is definitely a good option for you. By the way, it does have a slight perfumed scent, but it's gone in like a second. Moving on to some lifestyle favorites, and first up, I have a pair of pants that I picked up from Cotton On, and they are like these stretchy flare pants. Get out of town. I just think they are so cool, and they are so flippin' comfortable. They're nice and high-waisted, they hug your hips and thighs, and then they flare out at the bottom. Like, I feel so funky in these. I've just been wearing them non-stop. They look really cute with heels if you want to dress them up, or nice and casual with some sneakers. I have just been living in these pants, and I can't get enough of them. Next, I have this journal by Steph Pays. So I found her over on Instagram a while ago. She does a lot of organizing, which I just live for. And then she recently released like a stationary kind of business. So she does planners and like notepads and fridge organizers, all that kind of stuff. And then she come out with this write it out journal. I have been a huge fan of journaling for a long time. I think it's just so good for me to get my thoughts out onto paper. So the start of the book has some information about self-awareness and some questions about that. It goes into relationships, um, memories from your life, values and life goals. And then it goes into meditation 101. So it talks about meditation, yoga, stretching, the benefits of all of that. And then this is what majority of the book looks like. Let me turn the brightness down. So each page has prompts on it and the prompts are different every day. Once you get through all the prompted pages, there's actually another page with different prompts at the back that you can use to just freely write in the blank pages. It is just such a beautiful journal and I think whether you're new to journaling or you've loved it for a long time, you would definitely get something out of this. Next, I have this hair claw and I actually found this business called Suki La over on TikTok. I just thought this was so unique and I love the shade and it just looks so good in your hair. I pretty much use hair claws every day. It just keeps my hair nice and neat and tidy while I'm at work, but it doesn't give me a headache. I find when I have a hair tie in really tight for hours, oh my God, it just hurts so much. I do have a hair tie in today, but I'll only be having my hair up for a few hours, so it's okay. I also picked up this hair claw from the shop as well. I just thought it was so different and unique. I love that it's clear, but like it's got that, that like kind of yellowy, browny tint to it. I don't know. I just thought it was so cool. And again, it looks so good in your hair. A TV show that I have been loving and it's just like a guilty pleasure when I don't want to think. I just want to sit down and watch some crap. 
Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is my new favorite TV show. <laughs> ah! As I said, for times when I just want to switch off, not think about the a million things on my to-do list, I love putting on Real Housewives and just watching these women fight over the dumbest shit. <laughs> It is weird though, and I don't know if any of you feel the same way when you watch reality TV. It actually makes me anxious sometimes. So if I'm finding it hard to switch off, which is the point of watching these shows, if I can't switch off, it actually can make me feel anxious. And then I'm like, all right, I have to actually turn this off and stop. But I love coming home after work and just having some food, watching an episode and just completely switching off for an hour before I get up and keep going about my day. I think I'm up to season seven or eight. If you're a Real Housewives fan, let me know what, like, what one I should watch next. I'm thinking New York. Have any of you guys actually watched Real Housewives of Melbourne and Sydney? Oh my God. When that first come out, we used to, like me and a few work friends used to go to each other's house and sit down, eat and watch that. And oh my God, I've been seeing so many scenes on TikTok lately and it's just so funny. Like these Aussie rich, but the way they speak is so bogan. Like it's just hilarious. Anyway, I love a bit of reality TV. I'm also really excited to be watching The Office again. This is my third time around and I just, I can't get enough. We actually started watching Parks and Rec and it was good at the start, but I, I couldn't even finish it. Like I just got to, I think the second last season and I was watching it, watching it, watching it, waiting for it to be over. And then there was another season. I'm like, oh, I just had to give up. I had to give up. I was thinking about The Office. I just needed to go back to The Office. And then my last favorite of the month is Our New House. Oh my God. So things have actually been moving along so well. A few weeks ago, the slab went down, the frame went up and the roof went on within like three weeks of each other. It was insane. The building industry is like cooked at the moment. We won't even get into that. So it's nice to actually see that the house is still making progress, even though things are just crazy right now. This whole building a house process has been so freaking stressful and it just feels so good to see that work and stress coming to life and the house is being built we go out there every week and have a look around and see what's new and it is just so exciting now our end contract date isn't until december and just with all the delays in the building industry at the moment like i'm just not even putting a date on it i'm just happy to see things moving along and i'm going with that like Oh my God. I have actually been filming for a house vlog. There's not too much footage at the moment, but if you want to see it, let me know. I can put it together and make a quick house vlog number one. It is just so exciting. And I'm so proud of Clinton and I for doing this. Like we're building a freaking house. <laughs> oh my God. All right, well, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave me a comment letting me know what your favorites have been this month in the beauty and lifestyle category. I would love to know and have a chat about it. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing and don't forget to come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I hope you're all having a fabulous day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.